So now we're going to go ahead and put the roll bars on. You can see we have the roll bars all the way down on the legs right now. These are in 12 foot sections. There's one cut section. We've set these right now because we have 18 inches of overhang for the bench. We can go ahead and set our roll bars 18 inches out. This is approximate and this will be changed once you get your tabletops on. The connector sleeves for the roll bars are these little pieces here. You find them in your kit. It's just a galvanized piece. They slide over, connect the tube, make sure they're butted up tight. And these are going to use the 3 8 head self-tapping hardware, one inch. When we attach these, on your application, it may vary. On this particular one, we're outside of our roll bar for our connector sleeve. Sometimes this connector sleeve is going to fall right on the roll bar. And that's fine. We just want to make sure that our hardware stays on the outer edge of this connector sleeve when we put them together. So we've got most of our uh, tabletops on. We're going to put one more on right now, the last one. We're going to show you how these go together. There is a splice that goes into these, and what that consists of is one more crossbar that is going to join the two along with a small splice piece that will be screwed in. We're going to set this crossbar just halfway in. Now it's going to line up with the pre-drilled holes here. And using our standard sheet metal screw, we're going to screw this one in. And this is going to allow us to connect the next section to it. All right, once we have our tabletop set, we're just going to slide them together. And same thing on this side, we're going to attach the bottom screws. Now that we have our tabletops on, we've got them aligned with our, uh, with our legs. What we're going to do is go ahead and install our anti-tip brackets. The anti-tip brackets are here for that exact reason so that when this is rolled all the way over, this, will, this bolt that goes through here will not allow the table to tip. What we're going to do is use our, again, standard sheet metal screw. Every crossbar has holes pre-drilled. Just going to line them up and install them. Once the bracket's installed on the crossbar, take a 5 16 bolt, standard nut, thread these through, squeeze this a little bit to preload it, and tighten the nut down on there. That'll stay like that and won't be an issue. You can see right now that our roll bar and leg is not exactly aligned with our tabletop. Now's a good time. We can slide that slightly and get those nicely aligned so that nothing's going to rub. We'll continue on, do the rest of these, and our table's going to be ready to roll. Next, we'll be doing some trays.